Hey guys, so many of you were asking me to make videos on timeline for Canadian PR. So in this video, I'll tell you the minimum and general timelines for Express Entry program, of course, for Canadian PR. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so I made this video. It was actually my second video for this channel. And in this video, I divided the complete process into six simple steps. So I'll take the help of this video to explain the timelines in the complete PR process. So I divided this complete process into six steps. The first step was your ECA. The second step was language test, which means your IELTS, CELPIP or TEF. The third step is creating your profile. After that, you get an ITA. The step four is arranging documents after you get the ITA. Step five is submitting the application. And step six is getting the COPR for visa stamping. So let me explain to you how much time does it take in each and every step. Now first two steps ECA and language test can be done hand in hand. They are totally independent of each other. You can do it you know, with, uh, in parallel. There's no need to wait for one step to complete then go on to the next step. So your ECA would take around, you know, 1.5 to 3 months. That is exactly the same amount of time which would which you might take in your language test. Now this might differ from one person to the other. Generally people, you know, if you clear IELTS in the first go, you would prepare for one month. And 15 days, it's the time taken by the result. But if you don't clear your IELTS or any other test in the first go. By clear, I mean you don't get the required CLB for a good CRS score. In that case, you'd go again and this might take 1.5 more months. So generally, it would take a minimum of 1.5 months to a maximum of three months. Similar is the case with ECA. If you're going with ECA uh, from WES, in that case, it would be completed within three months. If in case you'd go for a different ECA agency or organization like IQAS, it might take even more like four months to complete the complete process. They take three, three complete months just to assess it. Then, you know, sending the couriers, this might take 15 more days. Okay. Now, moving on from step two to step three, it doesn't take any time. When you have your ECA ready with you and your language test as well, you can create your Express Entry profile. It can be done in a couple of hours. You just need to be cautious while filling all the details that you don't make any mistake and you would be totally fine. So no, no time is taken during this from step two from, to step three. Okay, now the next part. This is the tricky one over here. Because getting an ITA depends only on your CRS score. If you have good CRS score of around 440, 445, 450, in that case, you would get your ITA very soon. Now, this score I am quoting in terms of when I'm here in... Uh, October or maybe hopefully in November also this would be the score but the score can also dip or it can also rise so whatever the CRS draw score is accordingly the amount of time it would take if you have the good score let's say if you have 460 or 470 which is really good you would get your ITA within a couple of days or maybe a few days as soon as the draw comes out it generally takes out takes on every Wednesday uh, sorry every alternate Wednesday so every 15 days uh, one express entry draw is being conducted 
So in that case, you would get it within few days if your score is very good. Okay, now after getting an ITA, you get two months of time and that is the time in which you have to collect all those documents and submit it. Document list is very long, like your proof of funds, your medical certificate, your police clearance certificate. If you have been to any other country for more than six months, you have to get the get PCC from that country as well. So all these things does take some time and it would you know take definitely a month for everyone generally and it might take you know from one month to two months for most of the people. Okay now after you've got the ITA you, have, you collect the documents you can submit the application step 5 is complete. Now step 6. I actually made a video for this complete you know a transition from step 5 to step 6. You can watch out this video I'll provide the link to both of these videos in the description box below. This is the realistic timeline which you would actually you know this there are certain steps how you can recognize how much time it's gonna take. Generally it takes two to four months but the type processing time mentioned in the CIC website is six months. So within six months your application would get processed. So in a nutshell if you calculate it you can you know if all the best scenarios are captured your ECA and your language test both of them gets completed in you know 1.5 to 2 months even and your score is very good you give your documents within one month or maybe two months it would make it like four months and then probably in two to four months you can complete your uh, I mean you can get your COPR so in that way it would take generally around six to seven months that is the best scenario possible. I mean, there can be you no know, best scenario if, if, if you don't need an IELTS test. If uh, all your documents are ready, you would save one month in each step. But you know, for 90% of the people, they would go for some preparation at least for IELTS and they would spend some time collecting those documents. And of, of course, CIC would also take some time to uh, give to confirm your permanent residency status. So guys, I just hope you have an idea of uh, this overall thing, how much time it takes in each and every step. Now, it's very important to mention over here that I haven't mentioned anything about a PNP program. If your score is quite low, you can also apply for PNP programs, but there's no decisive timeline again for that as well, because you know you might be getting uh, an invitation from any province maybe Saskatchewan or Ontario anytime within one week or maybe it may might be even one year so there's no timeline for that so I haven't included the PNP over here apart from that everything has been included I just hope you have a better idea of the complete thing and you now have a complete understanding of the timelines for Canadian PR thanks a lot for watching this video Please comment if you have any queries, like the video if you really liked it and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thanks again.